each other. It's gonna interesting. be interesting. Interesting choice, Belmont versus Robin. You never really see this matchup. Yeah, two zoners kind of going against each other. But I mean, it feels like uh, Richter has more immediate access to to his range, you know? Yeah. Uh, Even then, Robin can easily counter that with stuff like Thoron, L Thunder. And yeah, really doing really well with like Nair. I've been noticing that uh, Gio gets a whole lot of usage out of his uh, uppercut slash. Really good move. It's a really good like uh, move on stage as like a kill off the top. Yeah, I've seen a kill at like uh, 150. I feel like. Oh wow. Yeah. Ooh. Only wire to down smash conversions. And I know it's probably a basic bread and butter, but I mean. Still new to some of this. I like the use of Gio's uh, holy water to kind of like add like an extra sort of spacing against uh, Zillion's attacks. Oh yeah! Oh, running into that one. Nice little charge here, dodging back on the stage. Down tilt's going to throw him off again. Zillion's doing a great job at avoiding uh, Gio's ledge traps. Definitely. Dillian doing really great against like a lot of his cross. Really starting to learn like how to go against all these projectiles that Gio's throwing. Ooh, combination of Holy Water and Arc Fire against each other. And the Thoron is not gonna kill, oh. but the Arc Thunder is. That was a snipe and a half. There's Kyle in here. <laughs> Zillian understanding how to handle this Belmont. Crazy. You know, realizing that the first cross didn't work, so might as well just toss another. I mean, it's a pretty low commit option, to be fair. Ooh, just a little out of range, unfortunately. It's nice how a lot of this early stuff, both players are kind of learning how to handle it. Uh, using cross to handle thunder, uh, kind of rolling against the holy water. to have for sure. Ooh, ooh, nice fair. Yeah, calling out the jump with that. Excellent stuff. Holy water into the nair. Oh, misses the up air. Ooh. What? Nice back. Oh, is this gonna be it? Oh, and it's just oh, it's going. No. Oh no. Oh no, that's unfortunate missing. Oh, oh buddy. Big Not versus like Belmont. Horrible recovery. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Ooh. I appreciate the patience on, on the call out. I like the use of Zillion's uh, Leaven Sword just as a projectile. That's the great thing about uh, about Robin. They're able to just like, whenever the items run out, they make excellent thrown weapons. That book hits like a truck. I noticed how Zillion's being a lot more patient handling these holy waters at the edge of the stage. Gotta be frustrating trying to charge up a an arc thunder for like three seconds or so and have it immediately wasted by a uh, by a cross or something that like that he can just toss. Oh. Speaking of tossing, going to send out that uppercut and just take him off at what was that like 120 near the top? Definitely down air into the up B. That is just insane. That that's a spicy conversion right there. Excellent stuff coming out from uh, you. I will say, they're both two players that have very uncommon characters. So, you don't really see any of this often. So kind of seeing all this like crazy Belmont stuff or crazy Robin stuff is just really cool to see against each other. A matchup that you never see anywhere else. I like the attempt at the Thunder just trying to get it like a quick 2% off at the beginning. Yeah. I like the use of Cross to handle any thunders that like are quick to come out. It doesn't have too much of a wind up on that. Putting arc fire with the down tilt. Ooh, nice that, beer versus up B. Yeah, that is an excellent out of shield option. Gio you know, using these up B's to an advantage, understanding that it's not really a strong recovery move, but it's a nice kill option, or even just something to rack up damage. Yeah, Zillion getting a little bit roll heavy. 
Hopefully that gear doesn't exactly pick up on that. Oh Ooh. my lord! Catch Holy water into the tipper of F Smash. That is devastating. It's just stuff. Just the use of it to make him per like make it an easier two frame. Nice back air, but not gonna be enough to handle Gyo. Ooh, Ooh, but the arc fire to the S Smash will. Ooh, grabbing the holy water, that is scary. Nice elf thunder to kind of separate Kyo away from him. I'm going to be able to down tilt under the arc fire. Very nice. Oh, I love this momentum. Another holy water into forward smash. When will this man stop? Yeah, I'm loving the fades back from Gyo. Just the micro spacing. Excellent stuff. His momentum is, uh, Richter is just insane. Just avoiding every spell that Robin casts. Using down tilt, jumps. Fuck dodge, knowing that the back row would have ended him. Dylan trying to find any way he can to try to, like, get that last hit on Gyo to finish him off. Thunder's not gonna do it. I've been there, not gonna kill just yet. Ooh, a nice jab with the art with the fire. Yeah, that triple jab is deceptively Ooh. powerful. Even in Smash 4, I could I remember seeing that kill at the ledge around 140 or so. Very strong move. Granted, you only get seven of them before you have to recharge, but it's still a powerful option to have. Exactly. Out Thunder going to get him a little bit of stage control. Nice stuff. Isagio's back air is just really giving perfect spacing. Avoiding the avoiding the holy water with the L wind. Nice move. Zillion still has the chance to take this back with the Arc Thunder into the up smash and the back air going to finish Gio off, making it even once again. <laughs> nice one and one. Alright. I don't think we're likely to see a character swap from Gio, I don't believe. And Zillion's probably going to stick with his guns. If Gio were to swap characters, what do you think he might go? Uh, if Gyo would swap, uh, against Robin, uh, Gyo had a raw back in Smash 4, correct? Yeah, but he's not too fond of him right now, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it looks like both are sticking to their, uh, initial characters. I think that's probably the smartest move against, uh, going against both Richter and Robin. Try to keep both zoners, see who is the better one overall. Battlefield, Battlefield Wily Castle, interesting choice as a stage. And Mega Man's got some great music, can't blame him. It does, and the remixes are a lot of fun. Snake Man's is a lot of, like, a beautiful oh. track. Oh no! Uh, oh. Not like this. Oh wait, what? Gyo. Uh, is Gyo, Gyo, is he done? I don't think so. Oh. I, Unless he got the super anime power up. Deep purposely trying to I mean I mean the Zenkai boost is a thing. You do get stronger when you're on your last legs. So I don't understand the logic, but I mean hey, there's a reason we're in the booth and he's on the on the sticks, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean it is working somehow. Zillion at 166%, but the Thoron is gonna quickly at end him off. At 59? That is I can't believe that actually killed so early. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I've seen that not kill at 110. Granted, I know he was at max rage, but rage isn't what it used to be. Yeah. I, th I think Gyo was just getting in a, in a strange headspace right there and just didn't want to be there. It's understandable. Yeah, I have a, honestly, I have a feeling that he SD that first stock, wanted to rage quit, but at that last stock, he decided to change it all up. And might as well try to get one final stock off. I mean, if no one wants to go on like a buster. Nobody. Definitely.